something on her that I've kind of found like most of the time we guide them around and think about getting them to accept to to guide this way as far as like um, getting them off getting them to bring that head and kind of follow that nose like we would with a snaffle um, something that I've kind of had to figure out is that's helped me on these horses is, is I got to be able to pick them up one-handed as well and pick up them shoulders to the at be able to pick up them shoulders here too as well and have them think about basically so I can pick that pick put that body in the frame that I want versus um, versus just because I have that outside leg on them or whatever that they go in that go in this frame of the direction that I'm going so I want to be able to get to where I can with my feet put them in have that shoulder control that that helps that benefits me down the fence being able to put them in that frame uh, as well as in the rain work trying to get them framed up ready to like do a do a lead change kind of stumbly right there so I want to make sure that I can pick her up have her think about getting getting that frame get them shoulders picked up through them turns instead of getting long on them turns and so that's that's that balance that I'm trying to find especially one-handed is because I can't pull that nose through that turn that that they think about think about stepping through that turn versus shoulder through that turn not necessarily being soft as far as like finishing that turn she's kind of coming out to that buffalo so I'll work on my steering right there as far as so when I do pick up she thinks about just like I would pull that nose through that turn to help finish it I want to be able to bring that outside rein on the on her neck and have her think about finishing that turn just like I would with a snaffle. There I felt like she finished that turn really good. <laughs> 